Hello, I'm Kaching. Nice Please to meet you. you. Pleased to meet you. All right. Pixels. Talk, talk to us about Pack Pixels. What what is it, and what inspired you to do it? Uh, Pack Pixels is an extra monitor for laptops. Yeah. It is uh, allows you to to take that multi monitor experience out on the road with you wherever yeah. you are. Uh, why I developed it was because I I sort of been a freelance uh, <laughs> freelance developer <laughs> and IT consultant for for quite a few years now and going out on client sites and, and losing. Uh, my multi-monitor setup from, from my base it was frustrating and so uh, I've been looking around for a while for something that would allow me to keep multi-monitor while I was out and about. Yeah. Couldn't find anything that, that worked quite how I wanted it to and uh, so I, I developed Pixels. Very cool. Well, how did you find out about Fusion 360? Well, I, I was originally using uh, SketchUp uh, to, to, to do the early prototypes yeah. and when I then needed to move into starting to talk to injection moulding companies it became very clear that STL and things like that coming out of SketchUp just wasn't going to be suitable. So I started looking around at alternatives, um, considered things like SolidWorks that I'd had a play with previously, um, I also knew someone with experience with um, uh, Pro Engineer. Mm -hmm. But obviously the price points on those is phenomenally high um, and uh, as a startup that wasn't really something I wanted to invest in. Uh, I don't remember exactly how I came across Fusion uh, but it was in beta at the time and obviously you were, you were giving it away free at that point in time and so it, it made sense to, to have, a, have a go with it and uh, picked it up very quickly. It was a very straightforward piece of software to pick up and, and get into. Um, and so yeah, stayed with it ever since, and mm. uh, now we've come out of beta and signed up to your full run. Awesome. Learning a CAD tool is uh, a little bit scary, mm -hmm. and takes a lot of time. Yeah. Um, can you talk a little bit about your experience with Fusion, um, kind of what that was like, how long it took you to feel comfortable in the tool? I, I, th I think the sort of biggest change from something like SketchUp, because SketchUp, you don't have the history you, you, if you want to make a modification, you have to make it there and then. And mm. the, the, the great thing with a tool like Fusion is to be able to go back into the history and make a change of something you've already done. It is such a, a useful thing, you know. Once once you've got everything nicely filleted up, and you suddenly realise that actually that should be a bit further over there. <laughs> in SketchUp, that would have been a nightmare. No. <laughs> you know, yeah. whereas in Fusion, just rewind time, move it a bit, re go back forward. Very nice, and very easy. In terms of 3D printing, so you have your 3D printer right here. Yeah. Yep. Um, tell us a bit about that process. What do you have to do in Fusion to get it to 3D print in here? And why you chose oh, yeah. to 3D yeah. print as prototyping. I export from Fusion to STL, ah. um, and then I use a tool called Kiss Slicer, yeah. um, which just generates the G code, which I'm then obviously send off to 3D Obviously, to, with something like this, you can only go so far in, in the virtual world. You, you need to actually be able to pick up and handle things and see how they fit together. Yes. Um, and certainly some, some of the, the earlier prototypes of the, the particular bracket system, when, when we got them into the physical world, we found that they weren't as easy to just drop in, so we had to go back and redesign. Mm, okay. And so we, we knew that we needed to, to, to get into the, the actual physical and 3D printing is, is the most sensible route to go. And also having our own just gives freedom to just say, let's try that and go. Right. Yeah, you know, that totally makes sense. Very little lead time to actually getting something in your hands to, to, to feel. Yeah. Um, we looked around at various 3D prints at the time and, and went with uh, 3D Touch simply because it had uh, a larger size volume build area, mm -hmm. which we, we need for the size of pack pixels and um, we're fortunate enough to find one virtually unused second-hand on eBay at a great price. So. That's fantastic. Startup's dream. Yeah. <laughs> That's so great. 
think a lot of people out there are a lot like you. They have this idea of a, a niche that they see that needs to be filled or a product that they wish they had. Um, what kind of advice would you give to someone who has an idea and wants to make it a reality but maybe has, doesn't have experience in industrial design or product design? Oh. Well, I mean, go play, have a go. You know, at the end of the day, it, it, it's only by doing that you, you, you learn things. And I particularly find that sitting in front of tutorials can only take you so far. Yeah. It's only when you're actually trying to do something specific that you hit problems that the people who built the tutorials had never thought of. We, we show pack pixels to people, and, and like you guys did earlier, your reaction was immediately positive, and you said, you know, this is brilliant. And mm -hmm. everybody we show it to, we get that reaction. But trying to get that out to a wider audience, get that out to technology journalists and things like that, is proving much much more of a challenge than we, we had originally thought. Um, so, we, we, you know, we, we are working on that, we are working around for that, but it, it certainly, having a great idea, doesn't necessarily easily translate into other people grabbing it and running with it. Right, right. And it's only by hitting those and trying to solve those that you really get under the skin of the product and really learn how to do things. Um, but yeah, go, go do it. Uh, at the end of the day, it's it's getting easier and easier to, to get hold of the tools and get hold of the way of making it. Um, so you know, go have a go. Yeah.